I'm sorry, new camera who dis? Hi guys and Merry Christmas! It is time to officially do my What I Got For Christmas 2020 haul. I've done this video I think every single year since 2016, but I think this is officially the first year where I haven't gotten anything that's like media related. So no CDs, no movies, no video games no records, which is crazy because that's basically me. But adulting, and it is my first year having Christmas as a married woman. So Brandon and I got a lot of things for our house, which if you guys go ahead and watch my Christmas vlog, I vlogged like our whole entire day of Christmas. Guys, go ahead and check that out. We are opening presents in it. You guys see some unboxings, some little behind the scenes, and um, some things that I'm not gonna show you in this video are in that video. I told y'all, we got a new camera. We got a new camera, all right? We got a new camera. And I just want you guys to tell me if you guys like the aud the audio. Yeah, makes sense. If you guys like the quality or not, if it's any better, if it's worse, if you prefer the old camera, if you like this camera, let me know in the comments down below. I genuinely want some feedback because at the end of the day, you are the one watching the video, so I want to help please you. So let me know in the comments down below. Like, look at this quality compared to my last camera. <laughs> my last camera could never. And then look, I'm just in focus. Like, are you kidding me? Here we go. We are filming on the EOS 90D. This is the video creator kit. Um, I think this is sold on Best Buy, Amazon, probably some other places. I think Target has some versions of this, but not with this camera. You get the camera body. You also get the 18-55 millimeter lens. That's a very common lens that comes on most Canons. Canon stereo microphone, which I'm not using right now because I'm just super nervous about it. So I didn't want to use it in this specific video, but I'll probably use it in an upcoming video. And then it also came with a 32 gigabyte memory card. Brandon got me this whole kit. So Brandon spoiled me and got me this for Christmas. This is my big Christmas present from Brandon. And he also got me my PlayStation. So I didn't really have anything to necessarily unwrap from Brandon this year but that's completely fine because it's stuff that I need and stuff that I'm going to use. He also got a um, tripod to go with the camera. So this is the Manfron Manfrotto, 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 Manfrotto. This is the compact action smart tripod with a joystick head and smartphone clamp. So this one's really cool because you can use your smartphone with it as well as a camera. But I'm going to open this and mess with it and see which one I like more. Uh, but I may end up using this for my streaming or I'll use the, my old one for my streaming because the tripod that I have doesn't really support the weight of my camera and it always falls or it's just a little sketchy. So I don't think we're going to use that tripod with a heavier body camera. So we'll see which tripod we want to use for streaming. Since Brandon got me both of those, I might as well show you some of the clothing items that he got me this year. So he did an order on Taco Bell because he knows that your girl loves Taco Bell. Also, nacho fries are back. PSA. Go get them. He got me this really cute long sleeve shirt and it's got like Taco Bell like sauce packets on it, chips. It's got a freaking taco, a burrito, all the jazz. There's a crunch wrap supreme on here. It's really cute, really soft. And then he also got a t-shirt, which is super cool. I like this one because the ones at Target don't have designs on the front and back. So this one has the classic logo on the pocket there, or like where the pocket would be. And then it's bigger on the back. I actually took Brandon to H&M, grabbed this, and then he bought it and said that it was part of my Christmas because your girl's been wanting this hoodie ever since the first time that she went into H&M. And I'm happy that I finally went because they only had one left and they said that they weren't going to get any more stock in. It's a size small, so your girl would have liked a bigger size, but it's okay. And it is a Shawn Mendes hoodie. And it is um, actually like the one that was on his last tour. If not the same hoodie that was on his last tour. And it was like 
$80 or something. I did get a hoodie at his last tour and I think it was $80, but it was a tie-dye. Stunning. Black and white. It says Shawn Mendes tour on it. And then on the back, it's got all of the dates on it. So it says Pittsburgh. Pittsburgh is right here, which is the date that we went to. Y'all know how much this hoodie was at H&M? $34 at H&M. Wouldn't cost that at the venue, wouldn't cost that at the concert, but that's what it costs at H&M. That's a bargain. Then we got a bunch of goodies from Pink. I'm actually wearing one of the pairs of leggings that I got and I am obsessed with them. I also got this like Sherpa kind of zip up. So excited about this because it is so soft. I like the olive color. I think they had like cream, black, and maroon. I didn't really want the cream one and I didn't really want the black one. So when I saw the olive, I was like, because <gasps> Brandon, again, was kind of just like, go on a Victoria's Secret pink, get what you want. So they had these up at the front. I think they were on sale for like 25 bucks and I grabbed one and I'm so happy that I finally have it to wear now because it is so soft. You know what? I did this in my last haul where I had clothes. Why not do it now? I got a free pair of underwear and then I got a black pair of leggings. Super excited about these. Super cute. Super cute. So they're black with kind of like a gray little like, you know, for the booty. And then it says pink right down here at the ankle. Now we're going to get into everything from my parents. So a brand new toy that I got that I am super freaking excited about. Like you guys don't understand. My mom brought this out one day and we cleaned out my brand new car that I got this year with it and it was chef's kiss. Ever since then, I've been saying I need one of these. I got one for Christmas. It is a Milwaukee M18. It's basically like a handheld power vacuum and this is the most adult thing, but it's like the best thing. So satisfying. So. Again, this is great for cleaning out your car. You want to vacuum your floors. You want to vacuum your seats. You took your dog to the vet. This thing will get the job done. And this is also great for furniture. Again, dogs on the furniture, not today. You got some crumbs on the furniture, not today. And he also got me a bunch of different things for it. So like he bought me some battery pack. So this is a smaller battery pack. And then he got me a bigger battery pack that lasts longer. He got me a spare filter for this, which he said that the filters don't really need change that often. So awesome, super excited about that. And then it came with a bunch of attachment things. Love this thing. One of the best Christmas presents I could have ever got. Really appreciate it. Love you, Dad. My mom gets me these every single year because they are my favorite. They are Cetaphil wipes. And I do have really sensitive uh, skin. And these seem to be one of the only things that don't make my skin break out when I take off my makeup. Then she also got me a big box of bath bombs. Super excited about these. I opened these in my vlog. You all got my reaction. They're my favorite thing. And then on the inside, there's more boxes for... Oh, of these little boxes which have six bath bombs in each. Next up she got us a towel and I'm super excited. I don't know if I'm gonna put this in the bathroom or if I'm gonna put this in the kitchen yet and I love it because it's got a Dalmatian with black ears just like cinder. Two ornaments for our Christmas tree that say just married. This says Mr. and Mrs. 2020. Super cute. Love that. Super cute. We got some ornaments like I get every single year. So my mom got me two new Marshall ornaments for our tree. Y'all know I love Dalmatians. So even though it's mostly 101 Dalmatians, my parents kind of caught on to the whole Marshall thing. So each year for Christmas, I get something, whether it's a toy, an ornament, or a blanket that has Marshall on it. So I got this ornament, which I'm super excited about because now that we have our own house and we have a big Christmas tree, I definitely need more ornaments for it. Got me this one where he's holding a little candy cane. Super cute. Another zero ornament. This one, which I've never seen before. I didn't even know that they made these, but it's like a premium Hallmark ornament and it's metal, like heavy metal. I don't know where he got this from, but I absolutely love it. This is probably my favorite one. A metal Jack Skellington with his Santa beard and a Santa hat. If you guys know, you know, I love me some lounge fly mystery pins and I bought a bunch of different sets this year trying to get the 101 Dalmatian ones and I failed. So my mom heard my cries, so I finally got the 101 Dalmatians ice cream cone pin. 
super, super excited about this to put on my pin board. And then I got the Pongo with the puppy from the um, Parents series, which I'm super excited about because it matches my thigh tattoo where I have Pongo and Purdy, and then they both have a puppy on their head. And my mom surprised me with this, which I am so excited about. I see these on the Hot Topic website all the time, but they're so expensive, so I've never gotten them. It is a Nightmare Before Christmas Jack Skellington Nutcracker. So the thing to like pull the lever to nutcrack is underneath his beard. Obviously, I don't think this would work, but there's his little like plush beard, super, super cute. He's got like some name tags on the boxes, it says Jack Skellington at the bottom in gold. And then his Santa sack kind of reminds me of Oogie Boogie, so I think that's super cool. So I did get a car this year, so I did get a umbrella for my car. Then she got me two boxes of Frere Rocher chocolate. I get these every single year. They're literally my favorite. I just love them. I'm obsessed with them. I love hazelnut. I already started eating the other one, so that's why there's only one. Then um, she got me a bunch of Number 4 Christmas Funko Pops, which is so cute. So I got the Jack Skellington Glow in the Dark Walgreens exclusive. This one's adorable. It is Santa Claus and he's got a bunch of candy stuck in his beard. It's kind doing like an angry face and then lastly we have Sally and she's super cute because she's sitting down I think that she's so adorable she's sewing her arm back on so she's got like a little needle and thread the last things that I have in this video are a bunch of handbags which I'm super excited about so the first one we have here is a Disney launch fly bag and it is Lady and the Tramp and it is Lady and Tramp when they're eating the spaghetti. How cute is that? It has a really cute little design as well from the restaurant. I hope that you guys can see that. Oh, the inside is like a red and white kind of like plaid, just like their tablecloth is. Go with it, I got these really cute um, zipper pulls or just keychains, magnetic charms. <gasps> Oh, they like kiss. Oh, that is so cute. Lady and the Tramp. And then they're magnetic. So they like kiss together. I also got Disney Lounge Fly Alice in Wonderland bag. And this one is stunning. I absolutely love this one. It's kind of like a cream off-white color. But it's one of my favorite styles of bag where it's the magnetic clip at the top and then it kind of cinches in the middle. I have another bag like this. It's the Coraline one and it is one of my favorite bags. So I love this one and it's got really nice embroidered flowers. I was so shocked when I opened this and saw that the flowers were actually embroidered. And then Alice is just kind of peeking through right there. The design on the inside is just Alice with a bunch of flowers and this very pretty like baby blue color. My mom's new addiction, which is all my fault because of the Disney collab that came out, is Coach. And she loves shopping the Coach outlets and getting all the really good deals. So we actually went to the Coach outlet um, in Grove City, PA, like a month ago. But she really wanted to go to the store and get some stuff for some people for Christmas. They had a few things left over from their Marvel collection, which I did get this beautiful bag for my best friend Jasmine for Christmas. This was in another video, my BFF long distance uh, Christmas uh, gift exchange. If you guys want to go ahead and check that out, but I got this beautiful, stunning coach bag from Jasmine. Love you, Jasmine. Thank you so much. So excited to use that. But my mom got me the matching little zipper bag, and it is so stunning. It's a really nice big size as well. It's got a little wristlet, and then it's got the iconic coach uh, pattern behind it. And then inside is just brown. So I'm super excited about this. Love that she picked this out for me. She also got me this book bag, which I'm super excited about. It's a little bit more on the actual like school type of book bag, but it's just the standard coach pattern. And then an artist did this little like T-Rex sort of design and it's supposed to be like a C. I'm not exactly sure, but I thought it was so freaking cool, and I loved the purple. But the back of it is actually like a nylon, kind of like a regular like school book bag material, which I've never seen like on an actual like bag purse before, so maybe this is meant to actually be more of like a book bag, but I'm gonna use it as a purse, I don't care. Last but not least, 
I got the matching kind of wallet. My mom searched and fiend for a purple that would match this zipper and I think she got as close as she possibly could and I'm so excited about this purple uh, wallet as well because I have the um, 101 Dalmatians Disney coach collab bags and they have purple floral all over them so I'm really excited to have a matching wallet to go with those because I missed out on the Dalmatian wallets which I really want but they're so hard to find and I love it because it's got a bunch of card pockets on the inside and it's got this nice little pocket right here for like an ID or something as well. Super excited because there's multiple purses that I can use this with. So that is officially everything that I got for Christmas this year. Let me know in the comments down below what you got for Christmas and again let me know if you like the camera quality, if you do see a difference or if you don't. Be honest, it's okay. We're here for a good time, not a long time. I love you guys so so much. Happy holidays. Enjoy your Christmas. Spend time with your loved ones and remember to stay safe during these hard times. I wish you all the best. Look forward to the new year. Thank you so much for watching. Peace out, Girl Scouts.